Hey y'all, this is Digital Cleaner, and I just picked up Windows 11, and <laughs> yeah, as usual, whenever you get a new OS from Microsoft, there's all kinds of changes they made, and you're no longer a power user. One of the examples I have, and I had this problem, is it drives me nuts. You right click, and there's all this crap. Open a terminal, properties. I use properties sometimes, but I don't, you know, this is what I want. This is what I've been using. Whoops. <laughs> and then I need to show more options. There we go. Copy, paste, all that shit. You know, if I've already used those. God, what a pain in the ass. There we go. I've got something on my clipboard, so it's not showing everything, which, you know, another annoying thing here. There we go. This is the typical menu you'll get when you go to copy paste. And, um, you know, that extra click, it sounds like, you know, it's, I'm kind of complaining a lot, but I wanted it to go, I wanted it to look like Windows 10 always did. All Windows have done. All the way up until now, you've always gotten this menu when you right click on something. For me, it's very annoying to have to go, you know, and down. It, it just stops me in my tracks. I can't just mindlessly go in. Anyway, what I wanted to share with you today is I didn't notice, and none of the videos mention this because I guess I just figured you'd see this. Maybe you already saw it, but if you're here, you probably didn't. But it's not always at the top either. So you're not just going to mindlessly come in here and grab these at the top because sometimes the menu is down at the bottom like this. See? So you go up here, it's at the top. You go down here, you know, it's at the bottom. That's got a paste on it. There we go. See? So just wanted to make this video for anybody else when i went and did a search there is no switch to turn this to always just open up to this unless you want to mess with the registry and hacking around with the registry from long many years of using pcs can be a problem and if you change a registry key or value the defaults or whatever programs sometimes will or even os's will sometimes reject it and then you'll have problems you won't even know why and after a year or two of changing registry you've got umpteen uh registry changes and you can't you know you can't really fix that you know it's hard you know you got to use a tool or something else to put everything back and even the tools can mess up so it's just i stay away from it as much as i can is my point and um so the reason for this video today is to show you that you do have these icons up here that's all it was. I just wanted to show you this. I missed this. It, did, it just totally escaped my perception because my mind isn't looking for it. And it also screws me up that it changes where it's going to be. So you can't just mindlessly use it like you used to. Well, welcome to another rollout for Microsoft. And that's what we're dealing with. And there's a whole bunch of other things I'm not going to go into. Uh, maybe I'll make some more videos if I figure out some way to change this, which I have not found um, and then there's all the other stuff like how you change windows and how you even just uh, personalize it. You know, it's, it's everything is in a new spot. They just like to screw you up. I don't know why. I don't know why they should have a roll back to Windows 10, you know, interface for some things. You know, I don't know why they don't have that option. Um, I, I get all the benefits of being supported through the year 2030 until the new thing comes out. Right. And I can use it the way I'm happy, but they don't want you happy. They want you can, you know, run around scratching your head, getting mad, <laughs> I guess. Anyways, hope that helps somebody. Good luck and uh, peace out.